In this video, I'll demonstrate the working of our job manager. Job manager can be used by the retailers to manage configurations and schedule various jobs in Hot Wax Commerce. I'll discuss the functionalities one by one. We'll start with logging into the job manager application through the URL that is job-manager.hotwax.io. Here in this field of OMS, we put the instance URL, we give the username credentials and login. When we log in, the first page that opens up is the pipeline page. Here you can see three tabs that is pending, running and history. Pending tab includes all the jobs that are scheduled for the future. Running includes all the jobs that are currently running. History includes all the jobs that have run in the past. Here we have also given a feature to search for the jobs by category or by name of the job. There is a unique feature where you can pin jobs to the bottom of the page which gives you an easy access for the jobs that are regularly scheduled and rescheduled. Now we go to the left menu that is initial load which is used to bring the products and orders while setting up a hot wax account. Here we have pre-order and back order related jobs for tags, for uh, updating shipping dates and everything. Here we have re jobs related to orders that is new orders, cancel orders, import and update. Here we have jobs related to the inventory sync. Here we have jobs related to products that is import new products and sync updates. Now I'll show you how a particular job works. For example, we have this import products job which is currently scheduled for every 15 minutes. Now I wish to change it to every 30 minutes. I can do it from here. I can also change the runtime from here. And if I select save changes, if I click on save changes and click on save, my changes are saved in the system and job now will now run in every 30 minutes. There's also a feature where you can skip this job once. For example, if the job is scheduled for the next, after eight minutes, you can skip this once and then it will run after 30 minutes. You can also disable this job from here. If you do not want to run this job anymore or it's not working as per your requirement, you can disable the job from here. We also have a feature where you can see the history of this particular job. You can also copy the details of the job like job name, configurations, etc. You can pin the job to the pipeline page from here itself. There's also a feature of run now which means that if you do not want to wait for the job to run after eight minutes and you want to run it now before without changing the runtime of the schedule you can run the job from here. These features of history copy details and run now are also present on the pipeline page for every job right here in more options. This way Last and the, we have a page of settings where you can choose the store for which you want to run the job. You can also choose the con Shopify config for which you want to run the job. It is especially useful when there are multiple Shopify configs associated with one product store. You can change the time zone. And this is how job manager helps the retailers to manage their jobs in an efficient manner. 